Now you are the mum of a beautiful, super gorgeous six month old little girl. Yeah. So there is a happy ending. There is. I, I did not assume I would get it because if I had stopped trying, I wouldn't have got there. Yeah. And I still went back to Greece on three occasions and still had six more attempts after the death of Stevie. So that was... There, you were, there was no giving up in you, was there? That was an odyssey in itself, yeah. even on the back of all those attempts in the lead up to Stevie. So... This little uh, girl definitely wanted to be here, that's for sure, didn't Well, she? you know, um, when, when she appeared on that day where, where um, you know, we knew she was going to arrive because we'd planned the Caesar because my doctor, Vijay, who I kept threatening to leave, that I wouldn't leave. You know, it was just like one of those yeah. psycho women that would go, you know what, I've got to move on. Yeah. No offence, Vijay, you know how much I love you, but I need to be looking into a doctor's face that can't see my history. Right. You know, I need to be Miss Average. And you know too much. And every time you look at me, I feel like, you know, that I can't lie about my past and I need to... Be th I need to be thinking I'm normal on some day. Right. And he'd say, totally get it, Mayor, totally get it. And I wouldn't leave. Yeah, right. And then I'd be there twice every week, you know. I'm leaving you, you next know, week. I'm, I'm going to leave you one day. I'm going to leave you. And I've left him now. <laughs> now that I don't need him, I've left him. But, um, you know, uh, thank God I didn't leave him because he deserved to be in that room with us. Totally. And it made that room. Deb was back in that room with her camera. And this, this time she was capturing, you know, the opposite images oh of the last time. And... And uh, it was just the most perfect day and the most perfect scenario. And, and I, I'd done a lot of work in the lead up to the birth of Jamie to not bring in all my fears from what had happened last time into that room because wow. I wanted to be really, you know, I'm very protective of Stevie's place in my past and in my heart. And I didn't want to not let Jamie have her moment. Yeah. You know, I didn't want to be you know, dumping. So uh, I went and saw somebody and, and um, to talk about it in the yeah. lead up to it and, you know, and that really helped. Um, but what was great was on the day I was curious how the past would appear yeah. in, in, you know, on that day. I was, I was pretty um, devoted to not letting it come into the, the theatre, even though it's the same hospital. Yeah. And the same corridors and all of yeah. that. And I thought, I wonder how it's going to reveal itself today. And I was sort of curious about it. And it didn't reveal itself in the lift where I'd been two and a half years earlier with, with you know, um, my waters having um, broken and, and with bleeding profusely. It didn't appear in that same lift that I got in and it didn't appear in those corridors. But just as they were prepping me to go into the theatre, this male nurse came in and said, I asked to be put on today. And I said, oh, OK, great. And, you know, this is the sweetest guy. And he said, I needed to see this part of the story because I've walked in your shoes. Mm. And there he was and both of us with, you know, these, you know, faces full of tears and yeah. sort of hope as well. He, he needed to witness the happy part of the story yeah. because, you know, he and his wife had had a stillborn six months earlier. So, and then I just thought, isn't that the perfect way? It didn't reveal itself through, you know, a door or a lift or a corridor or anything yeah. and it came through uh, you know and and there he was because I'd made my story public yeah. felt like he could talk to somebody that could completely understand where he was at totally. and um, and I do remember that was the last of it and in I went and I was 100% present and I was you know very calm throughout the whole thing and, and it was the most incredible birth, um, very well documented. George had um, a camera, two GoPros. Um, Deb had the stills camera. It was like, it was oh, like- Oh, you were not missing a single part of it. like the it. ashes, you know, it was like, oh, wow. You know, <laughs> let's document every angle of, of this baby coming into the world. And we had a playlist that we put on mm. and, and she appeared just as the Roberta Flack song, first time ever I saw your face come, came on. And it was just so perfect. And VJ's best friend was my anaesthetist and he was the DJ videographer, you know, like a, a dance supporter. party in there. <laughs> was, he was like trying to keep an eye on my vital signs while, uh, you know, getting, coming music. in on a close up on one of the cameras and George was holding the GoPro the whole time. And, 
Anyway, and um, there she was. You know what they say about Caesars? They say, it's not happening, it's not happening. Oh, shit, it's happened. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like there's so much prepping and then suddenly there she was. There she was. And um, it was just spectacular.